What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with a new video so today is a super super exciting day because I'll be finally switching from that beast right there, the Canon ATB, I'll be switching to the Sony A6400 so I'm going to pick it up at Best Buy right now and I'm going to bring you guys with me and then you'll see the quality difference because this doesn't shoot in 4K but the Sony A6400 shoots in 4K, has good super slow-mo videos but yeah, we're going to see how it looks like so Bear in mind, this is shooting in all the auto, the audio is coming from the in-body camera and everything, so yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so we just made it out to Best Buy, we're gonna go in and pick up the camera now, so let's go. Alright guys, so gotta head over to the camera section. Cameras here. I have the GoPros. This is the new GoPro here is pretty cool. But you already know the A6400 is what we're here for. So this is it right here. The A6400. This is our this is what I'm gonna pick up. 1300 test tracks. We could get this 55 to 210 millimeter lens for 250, which is kind of cool. They also have the A6500, which this this came out in like 2017 or something like that. But this came out in 2019, and this cost less. And it's just weird, but I think this is the overall better camera because it has. A flip up screen. It has a flip up screen like this. This doesn't have a flip up screen. So, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get the A6400. But, yeah, we're gonna cop it. guys so I have the A6400 in hand right now if you guys didn't know I'm shooting with a Sigma on the ATD so it's really really sharp this is using the kit lens but we're gonna switch over to the A6400 right now so you guys can see the quality difference in three two one go. so yes now we're on the A6400 shooting in 4k with the kit lens so I'll be getting a new lens for this soon today is just the first day but yeah this is the quality difference guys let me know if you like it this is the quality we'll be getting from now on on the channel we're gonna head back home we're gonna film a few stuff so let me know what you guys think down below of the a6400 which one do you guys think is winning the ATD or the a6400 with the kit lens let me know down below in the comments Girl, this time for sure, this time for sure. Uh, me and my baby touring places we've never been before. Anyway, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, just wish me a all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that video it was probably all over the place because it was just a super busy day i did so many things that day we left out at like 10 a.m we went on the road we got food we hit up our friends then we got the camera it was just a whole like fun filled day now I'm super excited to shoot with a camera. I'm not really um, in any manual settings in it. I'm still using auto on this camera, but I know that firstly I need a new lens because the kit lens is not a vibe. It's not the sharpest, it's not the coolest image quality, but it's a start and I'm super excited to see where the quality goes on from here. Some couple downfalls about this camera is that it doesn't have the in-body image stabilization, the way how the flip-up camera is attached 
you can't really swivel it out like the Canon 80B which I kind of miss it's not fully touch screen you could only touch the focus I wish I could like come up to the front camera the front the flip the flip up screen and touch like different functions change functions just from there but your boy can't do that I don't really also like how the mic flap is I wish it was like a rubberized flap where I could just put it to the side but the mic is exposing like the micro USB input and also the micro HDMI input so if I have the mic open it's exposing those which I'm not really a fan of uh, but apart from that I really love that I have 4k in this small form factor like it's just so good guys but yeah if you enjoyed the video, if you're brand new to the channel, look out for great content. I'll be pushing out more content right now because I've enjoyed this camera so much more than the Canon 80D. It's easy to carry around, so more shots will be outside and all of that. So if you guys enjoyed, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. I'm getting back to work, signing out.